Empowerment TV. I am your favorite personal finance expert, Shawnee Curry St. Ville. And at the end of this episode, I only have one goal for you to find a way to put some more money inside of your purse. So over the next four weeks, we're going to be talking about how to hold on to your purse during the holidays. I know I've heard it all before. I'm not going to spend any money. I'm not going to get in any debt. I hear it all the time, but the truth of the matters, statistically, retailers make 60% of their revenue between the months of October and December. So what does that tell you? Somebody buying a lot of costumes, a lot of turkeys, and a whole lot of Christmas gifts, okay? Now, again, this is not a video telling you not to buy things for the people that you love. This is, I know you're going to do some shopping, and since I know that you are, here's five ways to hold on to your purse during the holiday season. You ready? Well, if you made it this far, you know what it is? Hold on. I know you're going to need it, especially because this is December. You're going to need some money, so I got some for you. You ready? Open up your actual purse your virtual purse, your auntie's purse, your holiday savings account, whoever's purse you wanna open up, cause I'm gonna give you some money. You ready? You're gonna need some extra. You got it? Good. Now, right along with that money, I'm gonna give you some tips. Okay, so tip number one, all right? Instead of creating a budget, having a holiday budget is great, but more importantly than having a budget, figure out how much money you want to have at the end of the holiday season, okay? Because a lot of times people say, I'm only gonna spend $1,500. I'm only gonna spend $3,200, right? Because they say that's what their budget is. However, when they get into it and they start buying and they hear, tis the season, they start striking them checks and swiping that card, right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down the number you want to have when all of the wrapping paper is done. If you look in your savings account and what you have is $1,500, decide how much of that $1,500 you're gonna have. Are you gonna have 750 at the end of all of this? And that's where I want you to make your holiday list from, okay? So that's point number one. How much money are you gonna have when it's all done? Number two, if you are, Okay, this is all about your credit cards. If you are one of my person power mentors that has great credit and you have a great budget and you're just looking at the video because you wanna support me and you just wanna see if you can pick up any tips, okay? So if you're in that category of dealing with your credit card, then this may be a good time for you to go ahead and use your credit card because you can rack up tons of points. You can even use some of your points to go ahead and give out some gifts. So if you do have a credit card and you are in that 700 club of having a good beacon score, you don't have a lot of debt, meaning you're not 50% over the limit of what they've extended to you, this could be a good time for you to kind of play the system by the system by actually using your credit card to rack up some miles, to rack up some points, okay? However, if you are one of my person power mentors that is not in that category and you are already in credit card debt, or let's say you're already 50% over your limit that's extended to you, meaning you already have a $1,000 credit limit, you've already used $500 of that limit. This is not the time for you to be using your credit card, right? This is the time for you to go ahead, take that card, take that card and put it in someone's purse, okay? So tip number one, figure out how much money you're gonna hold on to when all of the fa-la-la-la-la is in your finances. Number two, you want to go ahead and leave that credit card home if you are not in the place to be using your credit card. Number three, shop online, okay? That's tip number three. Simply because those that are shopping during the holidays, statistically, you save 40% by shopping in advance. That way you can get the good deals online. So once you go ahead and make that list of people that you're gonna be shopping for and you're figuring out what it is that they really, really want and how you can make their life a little bit more joyful by giving them this gift, you're gonna go ahead and look online and see where you can go ahead and do some price shopping. You wanna see if you can find some coupons to go ahead and do that. That's some of the stuff that you can do since you're doing this you know, in advance prior to getting into it, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and shop online. Point number four, you're gonna create a list. Yep, 
Everybody got a list, naughty and nice, right? We're going to skip all the people that's been naughty. We're not going to get them anything. We're just going to skip those off. But those people that have been nice, we want to extend love to them by way of a gift. We're going to put them on a list, right? We're going to write down all the people that we're going to shop for. So when we get in the store, we're not picking up all those little knickknacks that they have surrounding the register because they know you coming in and you're going to forget, oh, Jane, oh, Kita. You're going to think about all those people. You're going to skip that. You're shopping entirely from a list, okay? And then point number five, if you cannot afford it, I want you to all together avoid it. That's right. If all you have allocated for the holiday season to spend, I don't want you to go into debt and I definitely don't want you to have any holiday hoopla surrounding yourself, okay? If you only have $200 to do some shopping, simply go ahead and do some shopping for $200. Don't get your credit card. Don't borrow money. Don't get into situations that's just going to financially frustrate you after everybody has finished singing their fala la la la's, okay? So that's five tips that I've given you to make sure that you hold on to your purse this holiday season. I hope that at the end of this video, you have identified at least one thing that has put some power inside of your purse. I'm Shawnee Carey St. Bill. If you would like to go ahead and connect with us on a deeper level, if you have any questions, always follow me on Facebook. If you really like this video, please go ahead and share it with some of your friends so you make sure at the end of the holidays, they still have their purse. And always, 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 if you have any questions, be sure to log on to PurseEmpowerment.com and send me an email. I look forward to your questions.